When I turned eight, my family decided to immigrate to the UK from Somalia. Being born in Somalia is different. I was born and raised in a small town called Mogadishu, and I was born at a time where civil war was happening. From a day-to-day -day life, you walking around the village at that age and the war going on, that was seeing majority of the time dead people. It was tribe against tribe, and it was it was my people against your people. It becomes normal when you're hearing gunshot every night, when you wake up to gunshot, when you hear bombs. It becomes it becomes something natural for you to hear. As a young age and living in that civil war, you learn to fight, you learn to protect yourself no matter what. Growing up in the UK was different. It got to a point where I was confused. As a kid, when all you've seen is just anger and violence, sometimes it can be really hard to adjust. So when I came into this country and I started school, I would constantly be getting into fights. Not because I was a bad kid, it was just because I had this barrier that I put up. I get it, people look at you like, oh, you stereotype, you're different, you shouldn't be here. You're Somali, no, get out, we don't want you. Someone to come around and tell you, listen, go back to your country, you don't belong in here. See, judging someone because of their skin and their faith, it, it's wrong, it's, it's completely wrong. You should never ever judge people because you don't know what they're running away from. And people only judge you because they don't really know who you are, the problems that you're going through. But boxing to me, it's one way, yes, frustration and pain, it lets, it lets you go with all that. It, that's one way of you letting it all out. See, my dream is to progress in boxing and be able to take my boxing career to a whole new level. Life works in a funny way. You have to keep your hope. That was a kid who had nothing. And I'm at a point right now in my life where I have something and I actually want to achieve great things. I've got a lot to prove. I came way too far for me to sit back and I'm going to keep going. When I look at my little sister, what I had was completely different to what she's having right now. For her not to grow up where I grew up, I feel like for my sister there's, there's so much hope for her. <laughs> I just want to live my life to the fullest. This is all I and my family ever wanted.